Hello everyone, I'm Autobot Sonic the Telltale Gamer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Expanse of Telltale series with Episode 3, First Ones. Last time we played through Episode 2, Hunting Grounds, and it was a huge step up over Episode 1. Again, not saying that Episode 1 was bad, but I just really, really liked Episode 2, so I'm sure the bar is going to go even higher with Episode 3. Also, as you, I've said during my Let's Plays of Episodes 1 and 2, I am also watching the Expanse TV show as I'm going through this. So right now, um, I'm time to give another update as to how far along I am with the Expanse. So with, um, as we're about to start episode three of the Telltale series right now, I'm happy to say I'm just about to finish. I'm on the last episode of season four of the Expanse with the whole, um, Ela storyline. I absolutely loved this season so much. I think Ava Sarala, Draper and Drummer stories are probably my favorite. Dr Holden's story, like in the rest of the Rosinante screw, I, I enjoy. But I really, really am loving, um, especially Avasarala and Bobby's stories. But Drummer's story, I really, really like Drummer this season. Her being the captain of a Medina station with Ashford, I've really, really enjoyed. And it really feels like after playing through like most of the Telltale series now, seeing how Drummer started out as the captain of the Artemis, it kind of shows us a nice little progression of her character as to what we saw leading into what we see going through her in the show. And I really like Drummer in Season 4. I wasn't the biggest fan of her in Season 2. Season 3, she was starting to warm me over, but I really like Drummer now in Season 4. So I'm eager to see how our character continues growing in Seasons 5 and 6 as well. But yeah, um, anyways, uh, enough talking. I'm sure you're excited as I am to go ahead and jump into Episode 3. Thank you all so much for the support on me covering the entirety of Episode 2 in one video. So that's what we're going to do this time. We're going to go through the entirety of Episode 3 in one video. If you're excited, you should like, comment, and of course subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, here we go. Episode 3, First Ones. Drummer scours a mysterious station for treasure and is forced to make a painful decision. We are on this very big asteroid space station. It looks like Arrow Station from the TV show, but also a bit like um, a temple where Peter found the Eternity Forge in Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale Series Episode 3. So, I hope it's nothing it like really alarming is going to happen here, but let's go ahead and just not dwell more and jump right into it. The Mausoleum, okay. Mining station in the belt, so that's what this is. If you are receiving this message, it means you've found us at last. You've come, and with you comes the next great step in the evolution of humanity. We have been preparing for your arrival for years, perhaps centuries. We have been patient. We know you have much to teach us. Okay. If you can Bit hear concerned voice, by this. Whoever you are, welcome home. It just repeats after that. Who was that? The head of the station, presumably. Well, or a recording of it, considering they've been dead for hundreds of years. Yeah, long gone. Whoever he was. He's long gone now. Generations ago, millions of Earthers tried to set up mining stations in the belt. Some of them lasted. Some died off right away. And some of them... So it's like a ghost station, yeah. basically, now? Still. A station this large, uncharted, and seemingly uninhabited? It's like nothing I've heard of. What did the initial scans tell us? None of the scanners penetrate past the first level, but there are no heat signatures. No. When did you have the time to get a suit on, by the way, Jumar? You were just in like your overalls last episode. Um, the scanners penetrate past the first level, but there are no heat signatures. No, it looks clear. Um, yeah. Who else is looking? Maybe, but we don't know if the pirates have found the coordinates another way, or anyone else. Not to mention, how the fuck are we gonna find it in there? The place is massive. There was a line in the coordinates. Something about the first ones. Oh, first one. that's the name of the episode. What <laughs> does that mean? We'll know till we get inside. Funny. So we've got first ones for this episode. Rain. I know episode four is going to be Stand called Impossible ship. Objects. Ready to burn and episode five is Europa's activity. Folly. And because we know that the name of Joel Toussaint's King ship is the Europa's Bane. Bane. Good no idea why episode one was called Archer's Paradox. Or episode two is Hunting Grounds, but. Down. So I guess the first ones were this mining group that set up the mausoleum. I am so worried for Arlen right now, because I'm pretty sure since I didn't find yeah. the medicine for him back in episode 2, he's going to die. Careful. But if he dies, 
He's like the one I care the least about dying. Arlen's the one I care about least, then... As much, I do like Rain, but I, I... Not to be honest, I wouldn't really be so upset if he died. Maya, I'd be a bit upset, but not really. Virgil and Connor are the ones I want to live the most. Oh, uh, and Cox. If Cox dies, that's that's the one I want to die the, the most. Cox, then Arlen, then Rayan, then Maya, then uh, probably Khan, then Virgil. We're just jumping right into exploring it, okay. I gotta remember to keep an eye out for everything. Search every nook and cranny, because I don't know what one minute piece of salvage or information is gonna save a life later on in this game. It might not be this episode, it might not be till episode four or five, but gotta look for everything. And I guess, is that Maya with us? Yeah, that's Maya. Exactly how old is this place? I'd say a couple, like, Don't hundred be years on old. any maps. Maybe a hundred years? Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, like, hundred, two hundred, maybe. Okay. This is fucking strange. I'll say. Oh, that's, um... So like, looks like I'm the the Abstergo logo from Assassin's Creed. Search for the command center. Found it. Over here. Okay. Wow, that was quick. Uh, meet my. All right, get some helmets here. I've never seen helmets this old. Crazy that people used to wear these into the vacuum. An entire station, completely abandoned. The set design was really good. Deck Nine, Deck Nine Total did a great job bringing this to life. Maybe we'll find out. As long as it's on the way to finding the MK core. The station is ancient, but the nav beacon is new tech. So someone's been here. We're not the first ones here. Um, I guess we'll meet Maya here. Fire my sister. Oh. The ox power is on these breaker points. The sector is now powered. There are three total. Each should have its own control room like this. Three sectors. I'll go ahead to find the control centers in each one. You keep scanning the servers for any leads. Fine. Have the fun to yourself. Is there a problem, Maya? I'll call you once I power up the next Or sector. are you just being funny? Turn on reserve power for sector two, okay. We still haven't talked about last night. Probably should keep it that way for now. Scan these. Get another mission log. Um, emergency power operational in sector one. Power offline last usage 2000. Is that 2239 days ago? Or the year was 2239 or 2239? This emergency power is working. Whatever went wrong here, it wasn't due to lack of resources. Everything appears functional, if ancient. Even stranger, the station's three sectors were shut down different times, with the bottom sector shut down years before the other two. Oh, okay, so no. So these are years. And, and I think we're on, like, 2347 now. So yeah, this is almost over 100 years old. Why would anyone purposely put so much of their station in the vacuum? I don't know, drummer. You tell me. Uh, let's talk to Maya. About Oh, God. Night. Yeah, cop. Oh, my God. Arlen, can you shut up? Which one of you made all those noises? Ryan, please shut up too. Ah, Falota, get off this channel. <laughs> Ryan, remember that? Oh boy. The idea of exploring this whole station doesn't appeal to me. I gotta be careful about what I say now. Whoever said riches came. I doubt I'm gonna like get someone killed just because I decided I, I talk about fucking Maya. But all right, Sector One that leads to a classroom. Sector Two has the med bay. Sector Three has the comm station turned into a cathedral. And the mining tunnels, okay. So I guess that's where I'm... Yeah, turn on the reserve power sector two. Why does it have a one on top then? Uh... Whoa. Uh, hello? 
There's a dead body here. He seems almost posed. Looks like That's a weird. guy from No Man's Sky. Do you think it's related to the core? Don't know. I'll keep searching around. Can we examine the body? See if there's anything on him? The last one? Huh. I leave this message having surrendered a sector to the vacuum to preserve my body for what comes next. Trust Dalton. Trust the signal. We will live again. The last one. That's the opposite okay. name of this episode. This group called itself the Cassiopeia Collective. Cassiopeia Collective. Landed here in 2226. That's roughly 120 years they were an earlier. unlicensed settler community from Earth. What happened to them? No clue. Nothing good by the looks of it. Oh, wow. That's all right. Um, I had to go down, so I should go up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. What's over here? I know it's something. There. Okay. Let's uh get on the wall here. Uh, can I get on the wall? No, I'm just gonna slowly make my way down. And then let's lay it down here. Yep. Okay. Let's get this airlock open. Can I do some sort of like elevator puzzle? Ah, uh, I, I gotta reconnect those cables probably. Connect the junction boxes to power the, the airlock. Was right. We're about to hit the greatest score a scavenger has ever come across. That's what he said. So, what do you plan to do with it? The money, I mean. Oh. I'll head back to Ceres. Why? You want to go back to the station where there's a bounty Yeah, I'm, I'm literally about to say that. Like, why do you want to go- With this money, I can make the bounty disappear. How? By going to war with Dawes? Yeah, well, what, what's the logic you're drawing? By making him irrelevant. I'm going to build an OPA that actually helps Beltus. Okay, wow. Nice little foreshadowing of what happens with Drummer in Season 4. Okay, I, I, see, I see you, Deck 9 and Telltale. I see you. Oh, well, okay. So that's going to go down. Yeah, we wanted to go down. And there we go. That was easy. Right, and we're in. Can we go through here? No. Alright, um, we're going through here though. God, this game is so pretty. Literally, it's like they took the art style of Guardians of the Galaxy Telto series and made it look ten times better. Oh, they Drummer? they mummify them? What happened? Dead bodies. They're like mummified Many of in them. coffins. I'll head what to the, the power. Fuck is going then on we can here. investigate it together. Now you want to include me? Fantastic. What? Why are you so? So what about yeah, you? Why are you? Why what are you, are you being going so to like? With your share? Like I... negative about that? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Philotha, you must have some idea. Go back to Mars, settle in the belt. Uh, settle in the belt, maybe? You could pick a station to settle in. Set up shop as an engineer. I could. I'd miss flying around, though. Maybe I'll buy the Artemis that. off oh. Khan. You can call me captain for a change. Ooh, whoa, okay. Ah, this ship has had enough mutinies already. Oh, that thing I found was, but that might be important later. Oh, next life goals. Next life goals. Strange lesson for children. See my brother, see my or mommy, anybody. try swimming, climb a mountain, thank the aliens, eat ice cream, become secretary general. Hey, that's a, what's up, Sarala? Fight the bacteria, ride a spaceship. Spaceship is two birds, apparently. And that's a... Oh. Bodies in the vacuum don't decompose. Guess that was the lesson. Okay, then. Um, another classroom here. Oh god, we have Slenderman drawings over here. Yeah, these are literally just Slenderman drawings from Slender Day Pages. I'm not familiar with the Dalton Principle. The Dalton Principle. Something tells me it's not exactly accepted science. Our galaxy Milky Way is estimated to be 87,000 light years in diameter. Out of 100 billion planets, 300 million have the properties for life. This is known as the Goldilocks Zone. According to the Fermi Paradox, intelligent life must have developed in our galaxy. Without bacteria or oxygen exposure, human bodies can remain free from decomposition indefinitely. 
Due to Moore's law, we can predict that medical technology will grow more efficient every year. This makes the potential for advanced alien civilizations or future humans and patients limitless. Taken all together, the Dalton principle states that the resurrection of infected corpses in stasis by an advanced civilization, human or alien, is a question of when, not if. So their theory was if dead bodies were preserved in these coffins, human humanity or an alien race would come find them several years later and revive them. And I guess this Dalton was the leader of the first ones who believed in all this. So we got a real Crawford situation here. Like in uh, season one of Walking Dead. And what we got here now? Oh. Looks like they were pulling walls off the station to fashion these caskets. Big Pagal. Work desk. All of this planning and effort just to prepare for their own deaths. These aren't just coffins. Lubrication atomizer. Stabilizer. They're designed to keep corpses in stasis virtually forever. Yeah, exactly. Because they, they be their the whole thing is that they're apparently believing that if they just keep themselves preserved in these bod in these coffins, some alien race or humanity a hundred years later will find them. What are pythons? Might need them though. That looks like the. This feels like grave robbing. That looks Even like the um so the data disc, the data cube hacker from episode two. But just think of the historical value. These were some of the first people to try and survive out here. Exactly. Does historical value pay well? Uh, yeah. Beats me. Think of all the stuff you can get. Oh. Reading this message, you'd hardly know they'd given up on surviving, and are putting all their hope in aliens. By unanimous vote, the Cassiopeia Collective has decided to decommission all biomass recyclers and break them apart from materials. We thank all collectivists who participated in the hearing and look forward to a brighter future ahead. We've entered phase three of the realignment plan laid out in Lassam's collectivist assembly. All regular mining operations have been suspended. Mining employees, please report your posted regular call to be reassigned. Management will communicate new plans for breaking down and repurposing construction materials. Once a suitable amount of material has been collected, we will commence phase four to begin construction of stasis coffins. Designs have been posted in the comms hub for com comments before next month's assembly. What's in this computer? Another mission log. November 4th, UNN request for emergency aid. December 4th, UNN request infectious outbreak settlement. Or April 11th, April 12th, April 15th, urgent request for earth settlement. April 22nd, request for emergency aid, multiple deaths. May 1st, thank you for contacting UNN. They finally answered after a month. And then a week later, for, for the love of God, save us. The station began as a mining operation. Difficult work with low profit margins at the best times. By the time people started dying of disease, the collectives likely strained with a little money and no way to mine enough resources that their population got sicker. No wonder this group set their sights on other means of escape. Oh, that's the same computer I just scanned. I was I was in this room, right? Yeah. I need to go this way. So let's do this airlock. Let's go that way. Is there anything? Oh! Air pressure monitor, hold up. Hold up, what we got over here? Don't act like I didn't see you up there. What you got hiding from me in here? Blowtorch monitor. I mean, air pressure monitor. And whip. Um, I got something. Don't know what it is, but could be important. Imagine there's like a big moment at the end of this game where it's like, oh, the armist is going to self-destruct, but we, we, if we have enough salvage, we can repair it. <laughs> and if I don't find that one piece of salvage, it's going to fuck me over. Now, well, now I'm now I'm um, paranoid that I missed something on like a ceiling somewhere else. And I'm going to go and check the ceilings of all the other. Oh, wait. there's no there's no reason. There's no reason they wouldn't just have a, a thing, a cabinet here. Really? Huh. I thought for sure there'd be a cabinet that there, like there was a reason that there was a cabinet there. There's even like a walkway there. You're telling me there's no, like, that's a perfect spot to hide a collectible. Come on, Telltale. I thought I, I thought you, I thought you were pulling a fast one on me there. Uh, this is the power subspace room, right? Let's hold off on pu push pulling that lever just yet. I want us to take a time to scan, and look for other stuff. You know, the ceilings. Looks very similar to uh, Station One. All right, let's turn it on. You were kidding. Oh my god, Maya, you got here quick. It's like a crypt. I thought Belters recycled their dead. Apparently they do, yeah. 
We don't get to be sentimental. We use every ounce of every resource we have. It's how we survive. So what do you think happened here? When Mad got desperate, yeah, exactly. Maybe the people here were abandoned and got desperate. They could have thought they needed the bodies for something. Could be. There's no sign of the core yet. I'll check the server here. Keep me posted on any more excitement you find. All right, we'll do. Trying to reserve power for sector three now. Grateful to have company in here. I will right, we'll just talk to her again soon. Okay, so now that we know that this channel is definitely Oh my private, God. <laughs> you can finally tell me that last night was amazing and you'll never be the same again. Jesus Christ, Maya. I'm flattered. Okay, my I'll see you later. Now into station three, sector three. I go. We got a medical records here. Timo Muflet Abdu Farazi twenty. Uh, that just fucked. I'd never let this happen to me. I've got my recycler all picked out. Oh, they've got the same like medical equipment that they do on the Rosinante in the show. The hands of the king are the hands of a healer, and so shall be the rightful king be known. In loving memory, Dr. Armin Jahani. Now you're lost. We all are. Okay. Is this his body? Looks like the medic was well loved. Oh, yeah. That's definitely the medic. Huh. All these poor Subakawalas. Staring at the abyss for eternity. I submit this recording alongside the station's medical records for future study. Though I take less faith than Dalton in foreign... Visitors, Bavi supplements. I have hope our tragedy Lari will containers. prove instructive to the burgeoning field of extraterrestrial immunology. <coughs> the pandemic which decimated this station began as a standard mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. Oh, tuberculosis, <coughs> too. I contend it was our antibiotic air filters which provoked the initial evolutionary surge. But <coughs> it was the children born to this station, whose stunted immune systems provided the fatal breeding grounds. <clears throat> I did all I could. In truth, we all did. But we had no chance. Okay, let's grab these microgravity supplements. They were taking supplements to combat living in microgravity. Wonder if it's the same stuff we take. I doubt it. The only reason we survive now is because of what we learned from settlements like this. These must be from whoever planted the MK core. We're close. Right, we have to go that way, but I, I didn't. Yeah, this is the medic room. I just checked that room out. Yeah. All right. I right, wait. What's back here? That's just another room in there. Okay. I think we're safe to go and then. So you're heading back to Ceres and leaving the Artemis without a captain? Come on, be I captain. I suppose that's true. Or you. Damn. If I knew last night was a one-off, I would have gotten even less sleep. Oh my god, fine. I will... miss you, too. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least call me a Wellwalla, or tell me how you can kick my Martian ass. I will miss kicking your ass, Wellwalla. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, an hour game. Get back down. No, right, it's not that one. There we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. All right. We want to go um, up. There we go. Nailed it. Got another airlock here. Let's get that open. Wait. Make sure there's nothing on the ceiling. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I'm getting a uh, kind of cyberpunk and uh, cyberpunk meets uh, 
What other game? Uh, I'm getting Outlast 1 vibes. Like the end of Outlast 1, you know, where you go through the mine and there's Project Wall Rider here. It reminds me a lot of that. The ending of Outlast 1. Okay. This one. And here. And then here. Mining charges. Ooh, those are going to definitely come in handy. Got some mining charges here. Looks disarmed. Wait. How much do they look disarmed? I don't know. How much to tell? remember, when you wake up and see it at the foot of your bed, Jeez. you started this. Oh. Oh, that's a nice little reference to episode one. Oh, I like that. Is that the power? Oh, another coffin. Looks different from the coffins in the upper sectors. Maybe they built it in the early days before they ran out of supplies. I will hold off on going there first. I'll just explore the rest of this place. Come on, drummer, just go up there. There we go. Look at this whole big open space. You'd think there'd be like some sort of collectibles or something here. There's a nav beacon. What's up here, though? I feel like there's something up here. Oh, monument. Let's look at this. Oh. You seeing this? Oh, holy shit. Sure am. How has all of this just been sitting here? Their stories were abandoned, just like they were. What gets me is that there was no OPA back then. There wasn't even the word Belter. But as soon as they got out here, somehow their lives didn't matter anymore. Huh. Well, if that's how you feel, welcome to the OPA. I'm serious. I'm serious too. The OPA isn't just for duck orphans on series. It's for anyone who wants to fight for a free belt. At least that's what it should be. Is this where the broadcast came from? Could be a transmitter. Alright, All right, so let's... I think we should start heading down now. Oh, here we go. Circuit board. Give me that. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for, like, all this salvage to come, like, in handy during, like, the last, like, leg of this game. Is, can I, can I climb on this? No, I can't. Okay. There is something here, though. That's the lever, right? Reserve power. All right. Make sure there's nothing else I'm missing before we do it. That's where I came in from. So, yes, yeah, turn us on now. And what is that, Maya? Whatever this treasure is, the one thing we know is that it will change everything. No more scavenging, no more running. Well, uh, that's the hope. I will get your hopes up, Maya, considering is, wh where Drummer is at the start of the sh during in season two. I, uh, I don't think it really it doing this goes anything. With you. Okay, not this exactly. But working with you to help build a better future for the belt. I wouldn't be too. I want to be a part of it. If oh God. You'll have me. I mean. Yeah, I'd be lucky, definitely. I'd be lucky to have you. So would the OPA. Oh God! But like, we don't see Maya in the show. As long as so you're sure that's what you. Really I don't want. know how this is gonna end. What if Maya's the one person who will always die no matter I what? I want to be a part of something that matters. Because remember, Telltale said that and you I can finish this game with everyone but one person alive, or everyone but one person like dead. Um, we're gonna head on down into the graveyard of coffins and maybe the MK core is down there. Holy shit, this is beautiful. I wouldn't exactly call a whole tunnel of coffins and dead bodies beautiful, Maya, but uh, you do you. Yeah, it's horrifying, but... Yeah, no, it's, it's horrifying. It would be beautiful if it wasn't filled with dead belters. Exactly. 
That shape at the bottom. I recognize it from the coordinates. Yeah, that's the... That's promising. Let me check the server for this sector, then I'll that's move That's the, the symbol that we've been seeing constantly. Okay, here's something. The sector's thermal scanner reports biometric presence. There must have been someone here. Oh, Jesus. They're still here. Oh, Coming someone... down. No, stay back. Try to get eyes. Yeah, someone shot her tank. All right, Jummer, what we got? Woo! God, My I love this Kamini music. Drummer. I don't know who you are, but... I know who you are. Jared Emerson Johnson never misses. He does a great job of capturing the... the, the... Ca capturing the, the feel of whatever music series he's doing. If it's Maya, um, I see him. if it's Game of Thrones, uh, Walking Dead, here. Tales in the Borderlands, Batman. Okay. The best music he's ever done, though, were probably what? for Batman. Oh, all right, let's go. Oh shit! Right click. How many times you got to aim, drummer? Let's try this again. Take aim. There you go. Take the shot. Oh, nice guy in the arm. Got him, but I don't think he's down. I've, I lost visual. Maya. Wait, he's charging. Your left now. Okay. Oh, oh, keep your foot straight, drummer. Take aim and one more time. Take the shot. Nice, headshot. He had a busted calm. Wrist terminal broken. And he was running low on oxygen. The hypoxia must have made him disoriented. He seemed to confuse you for someone else. JP? Does JP mean something? His oxygen was so low, I don't think he even knew who he was shooting at. I know he just tried to kill you, but... Poor guy. This wrist terminal is too busted to search. There's a hand terminal over there. Must be his. I wouldn't have made it through that firefight without Maya. Hmm. Wonder what this guy was doing down here. Let's look around. He was obviously here for a while. Maybe he left something behind. All right. Um. Well, we got this. There's a message on here. You stole something from me. Luckily for you, my desire to see it returned is greater than my desire for revenge. This will be your only chance. Say I was open to it. My partner has other ideas. We know. She's already contacted the UN and their Shinabi. Oh, we got... Some pirates got to them first. Pirates? Are they... Don't worry about them. Just send me your... Oh, no, their Shinabi is who... We're, their Shinabi is what we were... You deal we're with searching. That's not our ship. Our ship's the Artemis. Our Shinabi is the ship we're shipping, searching episode this one. This is why I love Earthers. So this man stole the MK Core. Brought it out here with his partner. His partner. Who must be around here somewhere. So we gotta Maybe find they him. have the core. Yeah, we gotta find him, ask, get, figure out if he has the core on him. Maddox, I dubbed my old grad school notes. According to an epidemiology professor, there was an early Belter settlement at these cordons that died out a century ago. Can you get us there? Let me know and I'll coordinate you with my UNN contact. We'll grab you later to discuss. Strickland's in, watch me so close to these announcements. We have to move fast, Ray. Alright, well, sorry, Ray, but we had to. You, you shot first, so. I wanna make sure there's nothing I missed over here. Oh, I gotta run across the whole circle, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh god, this is this this is disorienting. Let me just go one last loop around, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, that, that that's making my head dizzy. Okay, enough of that. 
I don't usually get sick from, like, games. Like, I even, like, when I played VR games, I never get, like, sick from that. But, like, damn, that made me a bit woozy. Look at his death records. 2023, 2023. Oh, these are times. The station's population started out strong, but heavy casualties began occurring after a few years. With new influxes of settlers and a dwindling population, the group must have known their community was doomed long before the last one died out. No one has had an easy experience in the belt, but these people didn't even have the hope that their future generations would build a better life for themselves. It seems to have caused some sort of station-wide mental breakdown. I don't blame them. Anything else? Doesn't look like it, so we can just head down here now. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie with the goat, and the children will lead them unto salvation. That, that's that's literally the Absterco logo. Future traveler, relay our beloved children before you. If you heal, be healer, heal. If you be miracle worker, work. If you be passer through, pass through and go in peace. The Cassiopeia Collective. Oh god. Oh no, these are gonna be all the dead children. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh fuck, these are all the dead kids. Wow. The oh god. The first ones. They're all children. Mm -hmm. It's a children's tomb. Jesus. I know Telltale is no stranger to killing kids, but Jesus Christ. They buried their children here first. Couldn't bear the thought of recycling them. Then they couldn't bear the thought of being separated from them either. So here they are. Here they are. Uh, you good, Maya? So these people stole the core and ran here. And they hid their prize. In a fucking children's tomb. Yeah, in a children's tomb. That's lovely. The Tomb of the Unburied. This coffin stands in memory of the first children lost to the illness that ravaged our station. Their bodies are tragically recycled before our minds were awakened to a greater purpose. Although they are lost, we hold them in our hearts forever. Oh, Jesus. Um, what do we got? Here. Stasis monitor. Alright, that's that. Look at mission log. Uh, the inhabitants of the station were talented engineers. When they gave up mining minerals and turned their attention to creating coffins, they did a strangely beautiful job solving the issues of long-term body storage. These corpses should stick around until, well, hopefully they get their wish. Some of the first children born in the belt, and this is the fate they suffered. They were abandoned, but at least they weren't forgotten. Well, I mean, they were until, you know, just, just now by us finding them, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll get the word out on them. Here. What do you think happened? Uh, gunshot to the stomach? Let's find out. How the hell are you? Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff to examine here. Um, okay. Um, let's see the recorder first. I have compiled evidence to show why this substance presents such a novel set of risks. I now truly believe we may be looking at an eschatological event. I thought I could deliver this sample to the right hands and develop an antidote, but I underestimated many things. All that matters is that I destroy the sample and pray the same will be done to the rest of this cursed substance. All right, let's check out the ham terminal now. August 10th. I commence this diary for the benefit of future histories. I believe we are embarking on biomedical revolution, rivaled only by the advance, advance of synthetic nitrogen and CRISPR. non cb said omnibus. August 11th. I noticed the discovery of a millennia, but some of my fellow researchers have lost the plot. All they want to do is scale up the testing. Idiots. We have the potential to eradicate cancer, reverse cellular decay, bolster immunity against all infections, must keep our focus. August 22nd. 
The situation has grown tenuous. Dresden appears to have lost all sense of process and prosperity. Rumor is that he's pushing for a cognition enhancement modifier on junior researchers as we have advanced him. If he tries that shit on me, he'll find an enhancement up his ass. September 2nd. Ask Strickland what he knows about the other teams here. No response. I know we're not the only ones on this project. What research are they hiding? Would they be insane enough to develop it as a weapon? The data are clear. This thing can teach us so much more about biology, but it isn't ours to control. September 27th. Dresden wants to talk about human testing now. What the fuck? I can't even begin to account for the ethical dumpster fire that presents at this stage. Maybe that's why he's busy with his enhancement lobotomies? September 28th. The lab is being shut down. Resources to be transferred to other projects for what horrors I can only imagine. How to respond? October 1st. My credentials got me into the lab one last time. I took the core. I saw some of Strickland's new project, too. Dear God, those people. August 2nd. I bribed a guard, Maddox, to smuggle out the core and get us off Phoebe. My contact at UNM promised to set me up with a new research team somewhere no one can find us. October 9th. Maddox's buddy dropped us off at an abandoned settlement. We were supposed to re-rendezvous with the UNN or Shinobi days ago. No messages, no response. What was I thinking? If the UNN can't handle this, there's nowhere safe. It must be destroyed. Maddox and I protest, but I will convince him. He's a simple man, but not impervious to reason. Just need to find a furnace that burns high enough. Oh god, they were going to destroy the core. Looks like this scientist contacted the UNN, and they sent over the Urshanabi. But they weren't able to stop the word from leaking out. And the tablet? Confidential, do not duplicate. All individuals handling this information are required to protect it from unauthorized disclosure. Handling, storage, reproduction, and disposition of the attached document will be in accordance with plaque regulations. Designating MK Core Lab 27 Phoebe Station. Singular cellular testing by Dr. Ray. It's clear the sample is encoded with instructions that those instructions are unknown, perhaps unknowable. Exposure to human biomass seems to activate it, although exposure to other replication mechanisms have proven effective as well. Most attempts to break down a sample's molecular bonds, such as exposure to solvents, disinfectants, and freezing temperatures, have failed. Exposure to extreme high heat has shown some efficacy. Efficacy. Experiment 1, cellular exposure. Experiment 2, cellular wall degeneration. Experiment 3, cellular replication. Experiment was terminated early when replications continued outside of expected parameters. So it's yet yeah, some sort of cellular growth device. It, 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 it sounds very protomolecule-esque, if I'm really being honest. Um, test subject, spelter, unknown origin. Experiment number 107B, duration of infection, four to six days, results fatal. Human testing, research lead Dr. Strickland. The sample is highly transmissible and with proper exposure maintains a 100% infection rate. A greater amount of biomass is needed in order to further understand the sample's encoded instructions. Experiment 1. Subject was exposed to the sample via cotton swab. Symptoms began within three hours. Subject was moved to exam room 4. Experiment 2. Subjects were exposed to the sample via cotton swab, then immediately put through decontamination procedures. Subject showed no symptoms. Immediately decontamination may be effective in the environment of accidental exposure to staff. Experiment 3. Subjects were housed in exam room 4 with subject number 1. Transmission began within hours. Subjects complained of disorientation, fever, and vomiting. After four days, chest and stomach pain were the primary symptoms, and subjects showed a pronounced aversion to station's overhead lighting. Hibernation ensued shortly after. And that's the device. The that... MK core isn't a treasure. Mm -hmm. It's a weapon. What kind of weapon? I don't know. Something alive. And fucking. Is the dangerous. MK core. Is the MK core an early version of Proto Molecule? Because that would be awesome if it ties into Proto Molecule. So they stole the MK core and brought it here. But then our security guard turned on his partner and shot her? Yeah, so. Seems right. That's where the MK Guess core was. Guess they stashed it before they had their fight. It's not in here. Alright, that's it. So the MK core is some kind of organism. It's the Proto Molecule! Or like a distant cousin of the Proto Molecule. The scientists studying it. And yet this company is pouring endless amounts of money into it. They're willing to kill to keep it secret, and now they're running Dude, it's so the Proto Molecule. Belters. I don't know if you can hear the little theme from the Expanse 2021 VJ trailer in there. Here, check their disposable. Um. Yeah, they were disposable. They don't even think of Belters as human. Fucking inners. They found a weapon they didn't understand, and they brought it out here to play with. That's horrible. It's nothing new. 
Just like Anderson Station. The Le Guin. Even these people. Left out here. Man, to what's die. the world guy puts what's the galaxy got Just with beef with belters? Belters are cool. Got something. Oh god, is that the MK core? That's gotta be the MK core. Ready? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. Just open it, come on. Oh god, it's glowing blue just like a protomolecule! Oh my god, is it the protomolecule? Oh, it's just glowing blue from the lights inside. Okay, it's not protomolecule. I found it. Okay, just chop- and now we're going to destroy it. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'd say. Destroy it, definitely. Don't tell me that's the end of the episode. Oh, thank God. Alright, we're back in the Artemis now. So, yeah, um, chop chop with destroying the core. Is it even safe to take our helmets off with this thing? Like, what if it just causes an outbreak on the ship? Oh, God, what if it causes an outbreak on the ship and since they didn't get the medicine? Arlen's gonna die now. Oh, no. We'll reach full burn in about a minute. What are you going to tell the others? Um, it's too dangerous. We have to protect the belt. Um, yeah, we gotta protect. Um, we, we gotta protect the belt. That the people with the money to buy this are the same people who will use it against the belt. Unless we don't sell it. What are you talking about? Hear me out. Whatever this is, it could still be everything you need. So we use it against what Earth and Mars? It? As a weapon or as a bargaining chip? Call it what you want, but no one Oh my god. OPA if they this is literally the Eternity Forge. The so MK Core is literally the, the Expanse the version of the Eternity Forge of Guards of the Galaxy. Apart over something like this. Jesus. Why are you so sure of that? You're talking like an inner. I'm talking like someone who knows the OPA. Who knows men like Doss and what they do to stay in power. But the belt may never get a chance like this again. You can't just take that away. You don't get it. You may have bounced around in zero G for a while, but you don't understand. Oh God, the this is literally, what is it with sci-fi telltale games having the most important choice in the entire game be in episode three? Literally in Guardians of the Galaxy, destroy the hey, forge or keep it or empower it. Don't I understand? Now they are destroy the, destroy the MK core or keep it. Builders prepare for the worst. Builders don't lie to themselves. Um, uh, builders don't lie to themselves. Belters can afford to lie to themselves. We deal with things as they are, good and bad. And no matter what we want it to be, this... is as bad as it gets. But like, that's the thing though. What if we can use it as a bargaining ship though? I, I just think it's way too dangerous to be- Think about it. Not like a Martian, but like a Belter. From everything you've seen out here so far. How do you think this really ends for us? Exactly. If we just destroy it, that's it. There's- we don't have to worry about it falling to anyone's hands again. Fuck. Okay. You're right. Alright. Okay, good. I'm it's glad you see it my way, and we don't have to make a big- debacle about this. Oh, do we destroy it or do we not destroy it? Let's just destroy it and get it over with before we have second thoughts about it. I don't want cold feet here. Wait, what? Oh. Rayan, what are you what doing? Are you doing? See, Baratna, told you You're fucking with some. me. You're fucking with me. Arlen, I swear to fucking God. And it over. Now! Oh my god, Arlen, you're fucking with me. And that? Ah, oh, fuck me. Arlen. Listen to me. 
could hurt the belt. It's a death sentence. Um, I don't think he gives a shit about the belt. I'm gonna say it's a death sentence. That is a death sentence. You'll never be able to unload it without getting killed in the process. See, that's your issue. No faith in your crew. I already have a buyer on series. Damn it, Arlen. Oh you don't my god, Arlen, come on, you man. You always think you know better than everyone else. That's how you always. I didn't appear. punch you back in episode one, Rayan! Oh, is Rayan gonna side with him because I cut off his leg in episode one? No, Brig. Airlock. What do you mean? Just got to head back to series. And Tincha! How long is the trip to series? Huh? Two weeks? Three? You want to stay awake the whole time? Until we sell this thing, she'll be trying to take it back. Stubber or voila. Never knows when she's lost. Oh my god. No, there has to be another way. Hey, come on, Ryan. As long as she's on board, it's still her ship. You think Maya and Virgil will take orders from us while she's around? Even the fucking pilot likes her. <sighs> it's the only way to finish this. No, they Rayan. Rayan, come on. I cut your leg off because I want to save you and the, the resources. He's going to do it because I cut his leg off. Fuck me. Rayan, come on, man. Rayan. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Rayan, I I have faith in you, Rayan. Rayan, you you want me to trust you? I've got you. Come on, Rayan. What what what's your plan here, bud? He's going to throw me in the airlock and like be like, "Okay, here, take a gun. We'll, we'll go raid. We'll go blow everything back up. Oh, Cox is still here. I forgot Cox is still here. I'm sorry, Cap. For real. I wish I could stop Arlen. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you can or uh, let me. Uh, yeah, let me then. Let me. Then let me. Give me the gun. Ratna, the only reason I'm alive. The only reason I got off Vesta. Oh, Brian, come on, man. Oh, man, I, I wonder now if I didn't cut his leg off in episode one, would he have let me out? Oh, he's, he's, getting, he's getting the helmet so I can at least, like... I can't let you hurt him. But I yeah. won't watch you die either. Okay, he's gonna give me, he's just gonna let me, like, escape then. No! <gasps> oh no! No! Oh my god! What the fuck, Arlen? Don't tell me he's gonna kill Maya. Oh my god, no! Go! Oh fuck! My oh my god, no! Oh Wait. fuck! She isn't a part of this. Rayan! Rayan, come on, man. Oh god, we only have the one helmet, too! Oh my god. Put it on. We can make it to the yes, station yes. to send a distress signal. Hurry. Yeah, I'm give the one with the bullet in me. You no, it no. Maya, the get the helmet. Maya gets the helmet. Stop! I have the plot armor. I literally get crippled in season three. Yeah. We don't have time and I won't let you die. Just take the fucking helmet. I said I would do anything to help the belt. No! And nobody can do more for the belt than you. No, no, no. Just... No, no! Oh my god, Maya! Uh. Oh my no. god. Oh my god. Oh no, Maya's dead. Oh no. Who is this? Uh. What? No, there's... 
There's no way she's still alive. Come on. Come on. There's Come on. no way she's actually still alive. I'm sorry, this isn't Guardians of the Galaxy 3. This is no Adam Warlock coming Come in to save. Come on! Come on! No, she's already dead. No! Come on! Oh, God. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Maya, please. <laughs> oh, is, Maya. is Maya the one person who always dies then? Oh, Maya. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Is it because I... Just willingly went along with Rayan. Wow. Holy shit. Okay, that was the Expanse Total series episode three first ones. That was that was a short episode, but that one was only an hour less than an hour long. And we only had the one major choice to trust Rayan or not. I don't know if I made the right choice trusting Rayan. Uh I just Uh, wow. I can't believe that Maya's dead. I don't know. Because here's the thing. What, my only other, like, thing I can think of is if I didn't, if I fought back against, um, what I, what I was worried about was if I fought back, Arlen would have, or Regan would have died. If it, I thought maybe, maybe Arlen would have died, but then Regan, Regan would have died. And, ah, uh, wow. I can't believe Maya's dead. I don't know if there's something I could have done to save her. What if I, like, attacked, um, Arlen or not? Wow. Oh, man. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to seeing the choices on this one. Oh, man. All right, well, let's go ahead. Wow, that was a great last little bit, even though it was, like, a very small episode this time. It was, um, good, um... Oh, wait, featured voice of Francois Chaw is J.P. Mao? Jules Pierre Mao was in this episode? Hang on. That's, um, that's Julie Mao's father from the show. He's in this episode? I guess there must have been some sort of audio log I could have found of him in this episode. I just, or maybe he was someone speaking. I just didn't recognize his voice. Wow, okay, they actually got Jules Pierre Mao's voice, uh, actor to voice him in this episode. Okay. But, uh, let's just go ahead and see what our choices were this episode. Uh, here we go. Talking about last night. 57% of players spoke to Maya about sleeping together. Prank revenge. Um, 7% of players had drummer retaliate for Maya's earlier prank with the mining charges. 7% didn't find the charges, and 86% of players didn't even get revenge on Maya. Maya's belt or promise. 80% of players said drum was, said Maya's help would be good in the belt. Um... Mausoleum reaction. 44% of players were horrified at a mausoleum. Defining Belters. 41% of players told drummers that Belters don't lie themselves. Trust to find Rayan. 78% of players trusted Rayan. And then... Oh god, here we go. How many people got Maya killed? Oh! 67% of players had Maya st get space with drummer and die. And then 33% of players had Maya stay on the Artemis. Okay. So there we go. Um, considering that the amount of people that got Maya... So Maya could have lived this episode. So no, I fucked up. Maya's dead. Oh no. My 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 third most valuable player is already dead. So I, I don't know if that was the right call. Like, um, would, um... So... How would have Maya lived then? So, maybe if I didn't have sex with Maya then, would, would she not have lived? <laughs> I was joking about that being a serious thing, but would that seriously have kept her alive? Or maybe if I said, or because I'm your captain? I, I don't know. Uh, man, I feel bad I got Maya killed, but hey, we, we can't save everyone. Maybe I'll go back and do a, like, a everyone lives playthrough in the future, but 
It sucks Maya's dead, though. We'll let's we'll see what happens in the next episode then. So currently, uh, Maya's dead, but Cox, Khan, Virgil, Arlen, and Rain are all alive. Fuck Arlen. And we'll be our story will continue next time with episode four, Impossible Objects, which is coming out in roughly two weeks on September seventh. So, episode four, Impossible Objects: A stranded and desperate drummer searches for help but finds more danger. Um, I gotta say, th this game is. I will say it is a bit shorter than I thought, and the it doesn't feel like there's a lot of major choices in this game, but maybe there's not. Maybe I'm just not really seeing the bigger picture here, but yeah, that's it. Um, thank you all so much for watching my Let's Play of the Expansive Telltale series, Episode 4, uh, Episode 3, First Ones. I had a good time with it, and I'm eager to see um, how exactly uh, we continue with uh, going through this all and seeing what um, is going to happen with... Uh, Taking back the Artemis from Arlen, and we still gotta deal with Tucson. I guess it's gonna. I, I think like episode four is gonna be us getting back onto the Artemis, and then episode five is gonna be us dealing. And probably episode four, we decide whether we're gonna kill Arlen or not. If not, I'm fucking killing Arlen. Balls to the wall. Fuck him. I don't care if Ray and if he was your brother, I'm killing him. He's on site, and then episode five, we're gonna deal with Tucson probably. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my Let's Play of the Expansive Social Series Episode 3 First Ones. And I'll be back roughly on September 7th to September 8th when Episode 4 Impossible Objects comes out. If you like this episode, be sure to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you guys later.